Welcome to Pace IT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney and this presentation covers career goals and company research. Today we'll cover what type of company you want to work for, what kind of people do you want to work for and with. It's very important to know these things because even if circumstances force you to accept a temporary job in a company that does not meet your criteria, you should not stop looking for the right one. Here are some criteria to think about. Most likely you will not find a company that meets all of your criteria, but at least you'll know what to consider when looking at a company. You have to be prepared to make some compromises, and you have to be very clear on what you will accept and what you will not accept. Otherwise, this whole exercise with criteria is useless. You have to be okay with making compromises. There are primarily two types of organizations, hierarchical and flat. The hierarchical style of organization is the most common, and it's been around for many decades. It works for large organizations that have many departments and are spread globally. It's very cumbersome and it moves very slowly, reacting to change uh, instead of triggering change. People have clear job descriptions and responsibilities and are expected to stay within those lines. It is a great place to work for someone who likes structure, routine, and a clear sense of direction and control. Flat organization is another type. Most high-tech companies will take this type of approach. Instead of using command and control style, it uses cross-functional teams that are empowered to make decisions on their own. In some cases, team leaders take turns leading. The teams are organized by projects and dissolve once the project is done. The idea, the idea is to have the right people for the right job or for the particular product or product development. This type of organization is great for people who are comfortable with change and uncertainty and who prefer a loose model of leadership who take less control and more flexibility. It looks appealing to a lot of people who want freedom and flexibility to contribute in their own way and on their own terms. However, it does require a lot of self-discipline to not get distracted by the newfound freedom. Culture is one of the most important elements of a company's success. It sets the tone for how employees will interact with one another, how leadership treats the employees, and how the company treats its vendors, partners, and shareholders. It also sets the tone for the company's position on environmental and social issues. Sometimes companies have a great culture on paper, but in reality it practices a very different policy than the one it preaches. There are mainly three types of leadership styles. Each works for various environments and employee personalities. For example, in a creative environment, autocratic leadership would not be very successful, since there are a lot of decisions to be made that fall into gray areas or multiple iterations. A manufacturing environment is a better fit for that type of leadership. The decisions are straightforward and they don't change much, and most employees need very specific, very clear direction to perform their tasks. The free reign leadership, or even the participative or democratic leadership, is more fit to the flat organizations that we were talking about. This will work more, in, more effectively in a creative atmosphere. So today we have discussed the types of companies you may want to work for and the kinds of people you might want to work for and with. Thank you for watching our video today, and I hope this has helped.